Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 18 Interactive Buttons. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to open a new FLA and keep the default. Put my stage down to 50% and I'm going to call this layer Blue Button. B L U E B blue button. Pick up the oval tool and stroke black, fill blue, and holding your shift down, draw a circle. Pick up your selection tool, highlight the circle, go up to modify, convert the symbol, make sure a button is selected, and I'm going to call it blue button. B L U E underscore btn. I label all my buttons underscore btn so when I'm reading it I know it's a button. Now I'll double click on the button and you can see here we're inside of that button and you can see the timeline for the button. In the upstate that's what you'll see. I'm just going to use my arrow keys and center that a little bit on that. There we go. Under the over frame, right click, insert a keyframe, and pick up the free transform tool. And let's make the button get a little bigger when we roll over onto it. There it is there. The selection tool again, highlight it all using my arrow keys and center in it. The down frame, right click there, insert a keyframe, and Let's make it go very small when we click on it. So pick up the free transform tool, make my stage about 100% and make it very small using my arrow keys. Center it now and there's what it looks like when you're up, down, over and down. Make it even smaller. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial just has to do with the, the button itself. So let's just test this moving. As with all buttons, you can see I get the mouse turns to, the cursor turns to a little hand. There's my overstate, and when I press on it, it gets real small. Let's go back to the main timeline pick up a red color this time, lock that layer, put a new layer, call it red, R-E-D-B, red button. Pick up your selection tool, let's use a rectangle this time, and right here draw a square, has red fill, pick up your selection tool, select it all, make sure you get the stroke and the fill, modify, convert to a symbol, button is still selected, this is going to be red, R-E-D underscore B-T-N. Double click on it, that puts us inside this button, click on the over, insert a keyframe, now this time just click off to the side, just click the center, the fill, and change that to blue. So when we go over, it's going to turn blue. Select the down frame, insert a keyframe, click off to the side, click the center, and let's make this a yellowish color. So there's the three colors we're going to have with this button when we run it. So let's give her a little quick test. These are just indicating, let you know you, that you're actually on the button, and that actually knows you're clicking the button. Because sometimes you're over here and not clicking it. Back to the scene one, lock this layer, insert a new layer, call it star, S-T-A-R-B. Select the first frame. In here, pick up where the rectangle tool is, pick up your polystar tool down here, open your properties panel, under options, 
I want it to be a star and we'll leave it 0.5 five sides to our star OK close that panel and hold your shift down and make a little star selection tool highlight the whole thing bring it down a little bit modify convert it to a symbol a button S T A R underscore B T N double click get inside of the movie clip put a keyframe in the over now delete that completely pick up your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle right on top of that highlight it and using your arrow key center to that X click on the down insert a keyframe delete that go back to your tools and pick up the oval tool hold the shift down make a circle select it using your arrow key center it so now we're going to change actually shapes when we do the there's over there's my hit over hit back to scene one lock the star layer insert a layer and call it hi h i h i b high button pick up your text tool make the fill red and the stroke black again and here down lower come over open the properties panel and we want the this font to be somewhere around 50 ish that's what I got here 50 my size and I'm gonna write H space I hi pick up my selection tool highlight it modify convert to a symbol H I underscore B T N high button double click on it get your selection tool highlight this high and bring it down there put the middle of it, roughly the middle of what I'm seeing insert a keyframe use your free transform tool hold your shift down make it a little bigger so this one's going to get bigger click on the down frame insert a keyframe make it bigger again now let's go test this one out see this la when when you have this that's cuz I'm rolling over it that's the roll over and if I click on it there's my hit there's my hit as soon as that hits there so it's actually acting on that very 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 large hit that we had that word hit boom see that so you got to be careful of that all right let's do one more thing let's insert a keyframe delete that and now make this stroke and fill both black and pick up the rectangle tool and right here I draw a long skinny line there now let's test it out test the movie now see that that skinny line now is my active area and it's right there see that la it's there right there up there see and if I click there so we can make the hit area any size we want really small there it is there look. If we went back here and made this very 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 small we might have trouble finding it there it's very small I'm gonna put it over where I think the word is roughly there yep 
Okay, let's test this out. And this is a very small area. It's going to take us a while to find it. There. Right there. Okay, so you have control on what is your target. Back to the main scene. Lock all those layers. Insert a new layer. Call it two parts. T W O P. Two parts. Now let's go down here and let's take a square black on black and let's take another let's get the fill red make another square selection tool and we're going to take both of these we're going to make these a button modify convert to a symbol and call it TWO2P underscore BTN two part button there it is there click on it get inside the button let's uh, right click on the over insert a keyframe when I'm over let's make them both red so click off to the side click that center click the red when it's down right click on the down insert a keyframe let's make them both black click on that click here pick up the black click on that one click on the black okay there it is there now let's watch this for a minute test the movie when I roll over they both turn red when I click they both turn black when I roll over they both turn red when I click they both turn black but I can go down the middle of them and nothing happens if you wanted this to be in here that's when you would go to this hit area insert a keyframe pick up your rectangle tool put a rectangle right around all those now test it and the middle works as if it were part of the button back to the main scene and I have one more thing I'd like to show you lock all layers insert a layer call it sound s o u n d it's gonna be a sound button and we're just going to pick up a color any color so it's different over here I'm going to draw my square Pick up my selection tool, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, call it sound button, S-O-U-N-D underscore B-T-N, and double click on it, that's good. Just right click and insert keyframe, so we'll change the color, so we'll know we're over it, just going to change the color here and on this down one insert a keyframe we're going to keep the color but we're going to make a sound so go to your you're going to have to have a sound somewhere I have some sound so go in the file import import to the library it's getting ready to import a sound preparing to import and I want to be on my desktop and I have this this splash sound it's in my library now my library is here if you don't have it here open under Windows and all you do is grab this splash sound and drag it on the stage and look up there it's up here click over here click on that frame and make sure this sync says event event now when I click down it's going to make a sound let's test it all our other buttons work there's the rollover state and click state. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.